did it dumb. Hi, my name is Winnie, and my life is pretty crazy. It all started when my parents, Brian and Lily, bought a school bus with the plan to convert it to an RV. And I guess we're all going to fit in there and live in it. Anyways, follow along and watch with me as they build this thing and probably make a lot of mistakes. Okay, bye. It's day three of our one day project of taking out the subfloor. And today we're going to do things a little different. First off, we've started a lot earlier. Second off, um, I called in the big guns. Uh, I called in a couple of my buddies to come help me because Lily had to stay home with the dog. So let's see how much demo we can get done today. Let's crush it. So it's day five? It's day six. Day six. And we are at the place with the helpful hardware folks, which is Ace Hardware. <laughs> and we're going to go in and get a new angle grinder because we're trying a new technique today. Um, and the old school bolt in the middle of our angle grinder will let us lay flat. So we're going to knock some stuff out today. Hopefully. No, definitely. Like, definitely we're going to do something. <laughs> like we're not just going to go. For sure. For sure. So we're at Harbor Freight picking up discs because they're way cheaper here. We're here. We're here. Let's crush it. Wow. <laughs> you guys made some progress yesterday. We tried. You like? Old insulation. I'm glad we're getting rid of it. It's it so gross. Moldy. Yeah, it's a bit musty in here for sure. Yeah. But you ready to crush it? Let's crush it. All right. So I want to walk through a couple of different rivets that we've come across and how we're dealing with them. We've got these guys that are everywhere, um, and they're also the ones that are down there. As you saw us working yesterday, the air chisel just isn't cutting it with those, uh, which is funny because I learned yesterday that I've been using a cutting wheel on the angle grinder as opposed to a grinding wheel. So what I'm going to do today is use a grinding wheel and grind off all the tops of all of these, as well as these gnarly guys down there. Honestly, I have no idea how else to get these off except to just grind away at them. It was a real issue yesterday. Anyway, that's, we, we got a new angle grinder that'll allow us to um, secure the disc better as well. I was chastised for my lack of safety. <laughs> anyway, that's the plan for today.
All right, so while Brian's angle grinding, I can't be in the bus because I hate getting hit by sparks, but I'm doing something equally as exciting. So once we're done demoing the inside of the bus, we're going to skin the outside um, where the windows were. We're going to put in RV windows um, and we're going to paint, which means we have to decide what paint color. So I took a picture of the bus and traced it in Procreate and I'm experimenting with different colors. It's black and white right now because the color is a secret. I also did the same thing for the front of the bus. Give me something to drink. <laughs> first, first. Guess what time it is? Time to scale Mount Garbage. Trash Mountain has been defeated. And our bus still runs. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's loaded and ready to go to the dump. Yay. The, the word right now is slightly discouraged. Not upset, slightly. just like just the slightest amount. Um, to recap, and I, you may have already seen this in the video after editing, but yesterday we, uh, we didn't get a whole lot done. Lily got a lot of design stuff done and all that. I got so very little done on the roof. I wasn't feeling great. I haven't found a system yet to cut through the rivets in the roof. Um, and we're still working through that. And then we loaded up a bunch of stuff to go to the dump, but ran out of time and came back and did that today. So garbage mountain has been scaled. Good news is, um, bus fired right up from the rear engine uh, push button on the back. Uh, radiators doing great, everything's fine there. Bad news is it won't start from the front. We don't know why. It makes the most annoying sound, which Lily will insert here. Oh. Oh. See, it's, it's the worst noise ever. I love it. It's my new alarm clock, but um, I don't know what it could be. My guess is that we probably just didn't start it often enough. Um, or we cut a wire on accident. Yeah, that could be another option. And that's, you know, we never claim to be experts. Um, but I will say demo is, it's almost tough work. <laughs> well, it's almost We're done. Almost We're done. almost done. And the, the hard part is that I think this is the barrier for entry. You don't see a lot of channels talk about how you spend a lot of days just figuring out how to cut rivets and do things like that. But it's a big part of it. And we're enjoying it. We really are. Any day that we get to be on our school bus is a fun day. Um, but we are excited to be done with demo yes. as of right now. Very much so. I, I enjoy it more than Lily does, but it's probably by a I, lot. I get to hang out with her. <laughs> she has to deal with me. Um, but yeah, yeah, getting it done. Every day is a step forward. So what day is it? Like. Day six? Day, day let's seven? Let's say five and a half. Day like, six and a half. Okay. It's like Lion King one and a half, which featured the hit song Dig a Tunna by Timon and his tribe of meerkats. Okay. Um, so I have a confession to make. <laughs> mm -hmm. The last time we were out on the bus, it was kind of a grouchy Gus. I wasn't feeling <laughs> we good. We both were. We forgot to eat. We forgot to which eat. Which is a lesson we learned is bring food or eat before we go to the bus. Right. And the other thing is that I think there's this paralysis or not paralysis by analysis. Uh, there's this comparison that's happening where we watch a ton of bus YouTube. We love it. We, we really enjoy that. Um, but we're watching people that have been using these tools for like 20 years professionally. Mm -hmm. And then I get out there and go, Oh, it's not easy to break a rivet. Well, rivets aren't meant to be broken. Like that's why they use them on aircraft. Um, so, I think what I've been doing is getting kind of frustrated with the tools and going, well, this should be a half day project and it ends up being a three day project, which is fine. We have enough time in our plan for that. But I've decided today is all about positive mental energy. Okay. We have a few small goals today. We want to get our bus starting from the front engine, which we have some fail safes we'll go through for that. We want to drop our, drop our stuff off at the dump. It's that easy. Yep. Easy day. But first, to keep that positive energy going, Dutch bros. Dutch bros. I'm down. Rot row raggy. <laughs> so basically when we try and start our bus, it's in neutral, right? We're getting this baby sound, which just sounds awful. So I'm going to stop making that noise. There are a few things that could be happening. 
The first thing is that the bus isn't recognizing it's in neutral, so this next time I'm gonna shake it. Then if that doesn't work, it means that what, and I think what most likely happened is that something happened with the wires when we were doing demo, where the, um, I believe it's called the ignition, isn't allowing us to start it because there's an open circuit somewhere on the bus. The reason I think that's the case is we can still start it from the back, which just bypasses the ignition, which should be fine, but I wanna be able to start our bus from the front right now, as opposed to waiting until we solve that problem during uh, wire management time. The other reason why I think it could be the ignition is because it's not even turning over, or trying to turn over. Okay, so next thing I wanna do is check the easy thing which is that door there to see if there's a wire that's disconnected that shouldn't be. So this wire here is just hanging. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to touch them together and see if we can't get our bus to start. So that's how this works. All I'm going to do is cut the ends off and then peel back some of this insulation. This isn't the right tool to do this with, but it is the first tool I found. Um, and like I told you, Lily, off camera, I definitely in the military have requires with my teeth don't recommend but sometimes the best tool is the one you have and can easily find i am not an electrician and my experience with wires is field applications in the military but for a field application on a bus this will do you'll see we're a lot cleaner when we're actually dealing with these wires long term exposed about an inch of each wire and make a v with them v for victory and twist them together all the way up. Bare metal to bare metal contact. Now, if I had electrical tape, I'd fold this down. I'm a fan of the diaper method, which is where you put the tape in between there and seal it up just like that until you can see it like on Solo and Carbonite. And I'm gonna tuck that up and out of the way so it's not touching anything, including other wires or insulation. And then we're gonna go test and see if it worked. Hopefully it does. That'd be the easy solution. Good to go. See you guys soon. Hope for easy, plan for difficult. Let's see if that works. <laughs> it wants to start. No, it doesn't. Um, all right, so there's one more connection that we can check. And that's the AC connection, which is right behind the seat. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing and then we'll try it again. So I figured out how to start the bus and it was really simple and kind of goofy. Um, this right here, if it's flipped to rear, will only start in the rear. Flip to front, it'll only start in the front. Somehow it got flipped to rear. Um, I'd, I'd never once touched that. Maybe someone else did when they were out looking at our bus, which is something that happens. Hmm. But um, yeah, just needs to be flipped to front and it started right up. Yay. Here we go. Driving with all this junk. We just unloaded the bus at the dump. Heck yeah, dude. We'll have to sweep it later, but oh my gosh, it's so good to have everything gone. How does it feel? It feels great, babe. Let's go. It's always a good day when I get to drive the school bus. <laughs> I did it dumb. So there was a really, are you recording this? Yeah. So <laughs> there was a really narrow turn I was nervous because there were nice expensive cars in the other lane kind of right tight to the edge. Um, and I hit a divider, a highway divider thing. Um, good news is no one's hurt. No cars are hurt um, except for the bus. Just felt like a bump in the road, honestly. Yeah, but so what's going to happen is, and this is the good news, so we can talk about this. We're going to be taking off this whole section anyway and it's going to become the front of our under storage. So we'll have this off of the bus completely here soon. And then we can um, hammer it out if we need to, or just keep it flat underweight. Um, I think it'll come right out. And I mean, that's just less sanding for us to do when we paint it, right? That's me trying to be positive. Maybe yeah. it loosened up a few rivets. No problem. Positive energy day, right? All good. All good? All good. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Anyway, okay.